Ah, Miko is your name, huh? They shall call you Miko the Legend. <laughs> oh, there's a boat just there. How can I summon that boat? Hmm. Let me catch butterfly. Hey, come here. Come here. Libra and our spine. Yes. You go in my bag. That's a very nice place for you, yes. Ah, solitude, so close, but so far, hmm? Well, let us have a look in this cabin. Oh. I hear dogs. Hello there. He's a friendly dog, is he not? Might I enter your home? Okay. Everything seems fine here. Let's have a look at this uh, fellow's journal. Well, after all my years living in these woods, it looks like the rock joint will finally be the end of me. I guess that's fine. All my friends are long dead. The only one left is poor Miko. He was always a loyal companion. I know he'll be able to take care of himself. I hope someday I'll see him again. Hmm, this fellow seems to have died of rock joint, hmm? Nothing useful on him. They'd better stay away from the corpse as well. You all alone out here, dog? Only some rabbits to eat? Or do you eat carrots and leeks as well, hmm? Talk to me. Tell me something. Is that so? You want to come with your friend Brandar? Hmm, okay. You can you can come with me if you want. It's uh, a bit of an unlikely pair, I do suppose, but uh you're more than welcome to join Brandar on his quest to nowhere. Oh look. He is coming, friends. Well, I hope you uh won't get in the way too much. And I also uh, must teach you at least one command. Do you know shut up? N no. Shut up. Good. Very good. That is uh, going to get you far with Randar. You simply must know your place, you see? Piece of cake. Ah, Miko is your name, huh? They shall call you Miko the Legend. Yes, this is quite nice, I think. Befitting a dog of your stature, hmm? <laughs> ah, we've got so many friends now. I only hope that you will not run away like Richard tends to do, huh? Yes, your friends with Brand are now. We are a big happy family. A bit of a, an odd couple, if I do say so, but... A family nonetheless, huh? I like it. Would you help me in combat, Miko? Hmm, let's see how you do. Yes, many skeletons out this way, huh? Yes, keep them distracted. Oh my. Where did this come from? There's quite some aim they have there. Where have you gone, Miko? Oh my. He's going to get me into trouble, isn't he? My goodness. Oh, you okay? Look at that, he's got an arrow. That's not good. Yes, bite her. Bite her in the legs. Very good. <laughs> ah. I should uh, probably wait just a bit before exploring this place. Simply wanted to clear out the necromancers. You did know it, did you not? Good boy. He's uh, a nice distraction. I will give him that much. 
What true value he might have, mm, we shall see. We shall truly see. But I rather like the work that he is able to do for Brandar thus far. <laughs> uh, I've been offloading some books. Here, you can hold that. It will keep you company in the afterlife. <laughs> ah, wondrous well. Oh, look at that. He likes bones, he does. Good boy. Yes. Take care of the bones. Oh my. They are everywhere here. Good boy, Miko. What a job he's done, huh? Oh, I'm so sorry, Miko. I think I put an arrow into his back. Maybe he thinks it was the other fellow. Let's not correct him on that, hmm? <laughs> and where's this sneaky fellow with the arrows? Nico! Nico, you want bone? You want bone? <laughs> ah, good boy. Okay, wait here. Excellent. He seems uh, a bit harmed. I must make sure that he does not fall in combat. Such a loyal friend. He has proven himself to be in such a short time. Ah, the family grows bigger. Yes, we must find an inn or some such. Hello there. Come with. Good boy. We shall find an inn. Solitude is just that way. If only I could reach it. Hmm. There's a tiny land bridge. Hmm. I'd like that mud crab to be out of the water. I'm not going to chase him in there. Ah. And here. Eh, some death bell. Yes, this will come in quite handy. Ah, another of these mysterious stones, hmm? I wonder what this is. Hmm. Interesting. Seems to be a, a symbol of a mage of some sort. Rendar does not uh, think of himself this way. Ah, many interesting creatures in this swamp. Hmm. I suppose the water is warm. There's steam rising from it. But even if the water is warm, as soon as I get out, I'm going to freeze to death. That is to be sure. Hmm? I don't know where my uh, little companion has gone. Ah. They come along with me for such a short time. And then find something else to catch their interest. Whether it is dogs or horses. Hmm. Oh, and it seems I've loaded myself down with a bit too much. Ah, as per usual, yes. Ah, uh, this refugee's book, goodbye. We've read you already. Worth quite a bit of coin, but uh, not worth the trouble. I won't burden myself all the way back here. My goodness. There must be some sort of way to get across, hmm? Miko! There you are, my friend! Just had to pause for a moment to let me catch up. Ah. How can we do this? Hmm. I don't suppose I can ride on the dog. Richard is nowhere to be found. Oh, dropped my arrow. Whoops. Hello, big boy. Please be careful, Mr. Miko. Alright, up, up, up. Ah! Disgusting water. 
Ah, no matter. I suppose I could swim through it, warm myself up immediately at an inn. And it wouldn't be uh, so bad, perhaps. Ah, reach. Stretch. Ah, and a silver ring. This is not for you, silly crab. Ah, water, water everywhere. I simply need Richard to do this. About here, okay. One, two, three. Ah, I did not jump. Why did you not jump, feet? This is terrible. Well, I suppose my feet are wet already, but uh, I'm certainly not going to let the rest of myself get so wet. Hmm? Try to uh, stay mostly to the shallows, if possible. Oh, hello, crab. You have a you have a coral with Brandar. Oh, that is not a crab. What is that? I've never seen such a thing. We must inspect. Inspect a little further. Hmm. It certainly has an exoskeleton like a crab, but uh it is quite different, hmm? Perhaps I take some of this I might ask around if somebody knows. Ah, <sighs> that is if I could ever make it to the town. Ah, ah. The legs just not working the way they used to, huh? Ah, tired of slogging through all this water. I simply need a bridge. Is that so hard to build a bridge? Apparently so. We lack a lot of them around here. They should not have crossed this way in the first place on the bridge that I was able to find, hmm? Ah, gross. I don't like it. Uh, it's better than the water that uh, falls upon my head, though. I do suppose. I'll count my blessings, hmm? Ah. Uh, no rocks to jump across, no bridge whatsoever. It seems Brandar is lost in the wilderness. Civilization just over the the next hill, but unable to reach it thus far. Ah, there. We might uh, be able to reach this rock. Hmm? The feet already wet. About this. Ah, just a little more. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Get some nice mushrooms. Little bit of that infamous Nern root. Oh my. We are stuck here. Look at this mud crab eat a fox. Have you ever seen such a thing, friends? Amazing. How's that? <laughs> ah. And my arrow floats down the river. I might like to fetch it in a way. Ah. How did you get here, Miko? You swim? You you like the, the water? Ah. What is this? Beacon of light. So many strange things in this land. I guess Brandar must swim for it. I've come this far. I do see a bridge there. Ah. Around the round we go. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. I would like to warm my feet just a little bit. I see a fire. I think that's the fire they told me to get away from earlier. Oh, what a big circle we've gone in. But at least we met our new friend Miko, hmm? 
That is at least a little positive. A little bit of something to come out of all this trouble. Uh, he has proven himself worthy. Brandar, however, has not. His feet have failed him today on multiple occasions. What a shame that is, hmm? Oh, this lady. Might you share your fire with Brandar? What's that? So sorry this had to happen. Ah. Indeed, not much fire here at all. A few candles. But I suppose it is enough, hmm? Good boy, Miko. You wait while daddy reads some potions, hmm? You make just a little bit potions for us. You might need this. You never know, hmm? Restore health, always the best. Always craft first. There we are. And uh, this is all I need for the moment. Thank you so much. Ah, I can at least warm my hands a little bit. My goodness. What a place this is, huh? What a land we've been stuck in. Oh, don't drop the egg! Luckily it did not break. <laughs> oh, friends. I shall rest here for the night. We are uh, almost on the way back. To solitude. I took a bit of a wrong turn. But Miko is with us now. This poor owner. Taken by the rock joint. But uh, he has a new owner now. If his new owner will love him so. You shall see. <laughs> ah, And so the day begins to break. Hmm. Not much fun sleeping out here uh, on the dirt. But I had uh, Miko here to keep me warm. Luckily these candles did not extinguish themselves. Must have had some sort of a... Uh, some sort of spell put on them. Perhaps from this Imperial who has been sacrificed. So it is a good thing that I eliminated this woman. I let her go the first time, but our paths crossed again. So she had to be put down, you see. <laughs> Ah, let us uh, read this book. What what inspired her to make this sacrifice, hmm? Oh, sacred isle Artium, where rosy light infuses air, o'er towers and through flowers, gentle breezes flow, softly sloping green kissed cliffs to crashing below, always springtide afternoon housed within its border, this mystic misprotected home of the psychic order. Those counselors of kings, cautious, wise, and fair, ten score years and thirty since the mighty Remens fell. Two brilliant students studied within the Psygic's fold. One's heart was light and warm, the other dark and cold. The madder ladder Manny Marco whirled in a deathly dance, his soul in bones and worms, the way of necromance. Entrapping and enslaving souls, he cast a wicked spell. The former Galerion, had magic bold and bright as day, he confronted Manny Marco beneath the Sephra Tower, saying your wicked mysticism is no way to wield your power. Bringing horror to the spirit world, your studies must cease. Manny Marco scoffed, hating well the ways of life and peace, and returned to his dark artistry, his paints death and decay. O sacred isle Artium, how slow to perceive thy threat, when the ghastly truth revealed how weak the punishment, the ghoulish Manny Marco, from the Isle of the Wise was sent. To the mainland's do dawn's beauty, more death and souls to reap. You found a wolf and sent the beast to the flocks of sheep. Galarian told his masters, a terror, a terror on Tamriel has been set. Speak no more of him, the sage cloaks of grey did say. T'was not the first time Galarian thought his masters callous, unconcerned for men and myrrh, aloof in their island palace. It was not the first time Galerion thought twas the time to build a new order to bring true magic to all, a mighty mage's guilt. But twas the time he left, at last fair Artium's azure bay, 
Oh, but Sung, we have the have a Vanus Galarian many times before. How cast he off the Psychic's chains, bringing magic to the land? Throughout the years, he saw the touch of Manny Marco's hand. Through Tamriel's deserts, forest towns, m mountains, and seas, the dark grip stretching out like some dread disease. By his ne dark necromancers collecting cursed artifacts of yore, they brought to him these tools, mad wizards and witches, and brought blood-tainted herbs and oils to his cave of sin. Sweet akaviri poison, dust from saints, sheafs of human skin, toadstools, roots, and much more cluttered his alchemical shelf. Like a spider in his web, he sucked all their power into himself. Manny Marco, Worm King, world's first of the undying liches. Corruption on corruption, till the rot sunk to his very core. Though he kept the name Manny Marco, his body and his mind were but a living, moving corpse as he left humanity behind. The blood in his veins instead became a poison acid stew. His blood and his life increased as his fell collection grew. His might mightiest were these artifacts, long cursed since days of yours. They say Galarian left the guild, calling it a morass. But untruth is a powerful steam, polluting the river of time. Galarian beheld Manny Marcos rise through power sublime. To his mages and lamprites, before my last breath, Face I must the tyranny of worms, and kill at last than death. He led them north to cursed lands, to a mountain pass. Oh, those who survived the battle say, it was like... Its like was never seen. Armored with magicka, armed with ensorcelled sword and axe, Galarian cried echoing, Worm King! Surrender your artifacts and their power to me, and you shall live as befits the dead. A hollow laugh answered, You die first, Manny Marco said. The mage ar army then clashed with the unholy force obscene. Imagine waves of fire and frost and the mountain shivers. Picture lightning arcing forth, crackling in the dragon's sigh. Like leaves the battle mages fly to rain down from the sky. At the necromancer's call, corpses burst from the earth to fight. To be shattered into nothingness with a flood of holy light. A maelstrom of energy unleashed. Blood cascades in rivers. Like a thunder burst in blue skies, or a lion's sudden roar, like sharp razors tearing over delicate embroidered lace, so at a touch did Galarian shake the mountain to its base. The deathly horde fell fatally, but heeding their dying cries, from the depths the thing they called the wor Worm King did rise. Nern itself d did scream in the mages and necromancers' war. His eyes burning fire, he opened his toothless maw, vomiting darkness with each ex exhalation of his breath, all sucking in the fetid air, felt the icy touch of death. In the skies above the mountain, darkness overcame pale. Then Manny Marco Worm King felt his dismal powers fail. The artifacts of death pulled from his putrid skeletal claw. A thousand good and evil perished then, history confirms. Among, alas, Vanus Galarian. He showed the way. It seems once that Manny Marco had truly died that day. Scattered seemed necromancers, wicked ghastly fools, back to the mages' guild, vis visitors kept the accursed tools. Of him living still in undeath, Manny Marco, king of worms. Children, listen as the shadows cross your sleeping hutch, and the village sleeps away, streets emptied of the crowds, and the moons do balefully glare through the nightly clouds, and the graveyard's people's rest, we hope, in eternal sleep. Listen and you'll hear the whispered tap of footsteps creak. And then you'll pray you never feel the Worm King's awful touch. Fascinating. So she was uh, performing a bit of necromancy in the footsteps of the Worm King, Mr. Manny Marco. And incidentally, we learn a bit more about Galarian as well. We've heard this name a few times before. Oh, that butterfly, he's sneaky. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Interesting. The Mages Guild does uh, cast out necromancers, and I suppose for a good reason, yes? Quite a battle was had that day, apparently. It was a thing that Brandar had never heard about, uh, not being one so interested in the magical arts. But uh, I think the Winterhold, the College of Winterhold in Skyrim holds a bit of a different view. Necromancers 
seem to practice out in the open. This is not the first one we have encountered, nor I'm sure will it be the last. Ah, and here we find the uh, dragon bridge we had crossed before. Got to put a bit off our way. And there, my friend! You were waiting for daddy to come back, weren't you? You were so drunk. Or daddy was so drunk. Maybe I'm still drunk. I don't know. I'm drunk with joy. So happy to see you, my friend. This is uh, Miko. He's going to be coming with us. That's okay, Miko. This is Richard. You will be good friends, I do hope. Ah, wondrous well. And I did have a bit of sleep, but my back hurts. I, I'm quite grateful that you are back to me, Richard. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.